Hi there. So hear this. Israel has attacked thousands of Hezbollah fighters without even leaving the Israeli territory. Now, this is a very funny story. So let me rephrase this. Thousands of pagers have exploded across Lebanon in attack targeting Hezbollah members. Now, for those who do not know what these things called pagers are, or maybe you forgot, they look like this. These are like the early versions of the current phones we have. So basically, you used to get a text, sometimes followed by a phone number for you to go now to the landline telephone to call back that number to get more information. So you may probably have seen this in some old movies where people used to get pinged uh, basically by getting a text on these pages. So why is Hezbollah using pages? About two months ago, the leader of Hamas attended the funeral of the late president of Iran. And after leaving that funeral, he was tracked up to the residence or the, the house he was staying in. And then Israel was able to send this missile to shoot him. Other people say that there was a sniper. Others b believe that I don't know, there's so many versions of what happened. But the bottom line is he was followed or he was tracked. And it wasn't him actually who was tracked, but one of his bodyguards, the people who were there, or one of his drivers was the one who had a mobile phone that was tracked to where the leader of Hamas was staying. So that's how they got his location and bombed it. So after that, Hezbollah ordered every one of their members to stop using smartphones, to also stop using any mobile phone, claiming that Israel was tracking them and that they might use their phones to track the location of the Hezbollah leaders and bomb them. So he ordered that every Hezbollah soldier or member should stop using phone and instead they should get pagers and they'll be getting this text on the pagers and from there they will be going to the phone, the telephone lines to call. So that's what happened. But then Israel learned that the, the, the Hezbollah was switching to pagers. So they flooded the market with very affordable, cheap Motorola pagers. But they were, these pagers had been manufactured in Israel or they were bought from Motorola, modified in Israel and then put back into the market. So these are the pagers we are talking about. So after less than uh, maybe a month using these pagers, Israel has decided to activate all these pagers into mini bombs. Dude, you can make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. So they've decided to activate these mini bombs. And most of these pictures from some of the videos we are seeing were in the pockets of these members. Like, for example, uh, you would find um, a, a pager like this one was in the, in the pocket of the one who had it. And it exploded from his pocket, shirt pocket to be precise and and it hurt him so bad uh someone else had it others had them in their trouser pocket others had had them in their hands like now this one was standing here he has it in his hand here it's going to explode from his pocket actually there he got a text and he went to look at it pop it explodes and the lady uh, who was doing the checkout also had to escape so that guy kind of doesn't have his intestine intact because that thing exploded on his stomach or down there in his private parts very dangerous so according to the report more than 3000 hezbollah operatives have been injured and close to 20 died on the spot according to the hospitals in lebanon of course the numbers is going to keep going higher because as i said some of these pages were located uh in their pockets on their belts, others in the shirt pockets, others maybe they were slinging them on the chest, you know. So they were very close to them. And when they exploded, uh, as you can see from some of these photos on, and videos, they, they got hurt so bad. And even after the explosion, because people didn't know what was going on, you could see these people um, 
kind of uh, bleeding bleeding uh, some of them bleeding almost to death now in one of these video you can see here this page was actually on a shelf here on top here and it, it exploded and made a hole through all these shelves or uh, these levels of the shelf and landed near the window so so you can imagine if it was inside the the, the person's pocket so it's the breaking story that israel was able to take advantage of Hezbollah switching from smartphones to pagers to rig the pagers with some explosives and then trigger these pagers simultaneously using a certain unique code. That's how advanced Israel is. Uh, the other thing maybe you need to note is that there have been stories that the late president of Tanzania was using a pace setter. Now, a pace setter is something that people with heart problems get installed in their heart to basically manage the 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 rhythm of the heartbeat and it's electronic and it can be deactivated there's some movies we saw where someone was giving people mechanical hearts these are hearts made of this stuff and then if they fail to pay he would turn off the gadget remotely and the people would die so a lot of people have been speculating that maybe when he was opposing the COVID policies of the West, they might have done the same thing to him. Now, you need to know that in Africa, we consume a lot of these gadgets from the West. And some of these gadgets, like phones, uh, like uh, these pesetas, like these pages, are rigged by the West. So that if you start going against them they might trigger them including weapons we think that we have defense industries the weapons we have in africa are to fight among ourselves Af african countries attacking each other if it gets to a point where we have to attack an, an external enemy like israel or russia or we have to attack china those weapons most of them will not work they will be deactivated remotely by the chinese uh, uh, we, they be deactivated remotely by the Russians. As a matter of fact, uh, there are these uh, software inside Russian missiles that they cannot be used to target f their own aircraft. It's called friendly fire. They cannot do that. So that w when a missile leaves a plane and goes around looking for target, it cannot come back to the same plane. So you find that it also applies if the enemy gets the same missile and try to shoot at a Russian plane, you find that sometimes those missiles refuse to go to that plane. They refuse to, to shoot it down. And guess what? We have all those weapons in Africa and we think that we've bought so much in defense to defend ourselves. But from who? Because the enemy can easily use technology to, to activate these things or deactivate them. And that is the story. That's why I'm making this video that you can't make this stuff up. Uh, this world is still has its owners. Israel is like the owner of some of these things. That's why Lebanon, even despite them switching from smartphones, they went to buy the same gadgets from the same people they were trying to run away from.